Happy Sunday morning, everybody. It is just before 10 a.m. on Sunday, May 7th, I think. Bob is off at the kids' house um, helping son-in-law Polyus with some car stuff today. I think they're... Polyus is restoring an old Mustang, and I don't remember what year, but anyway, an old Mustang. He has the actual car and a donor car. And so I think he's like removing an engine from one of them that's gonna get rebuilt. Um, and I think it's from the donor car, but I'm not sure. Anyway, they're doing that today. Hopefully I don't get any phone calls that one of them got hurt, but you know. In the meantime, I'm gonna go to Goodwill and Joann's. I need some parts for some sewing projects this week. And we're gonna head off and go do that first thing this morning. I was gonna maybe drive down to McMinnville, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm gonna stay in town and do that and come back. Then I'm gonna reorganize some stuff in the art room, maybe get a little sewing done. Yeah, we'll be back. Oh, also laundry and chores, but you know, that's always a thing. I'll be back. It's about 1.30ish, I need to eat lunch. Um, I was supposed to be cutting out a different project Got sidetracked, haven't finished the laundry yet, haven't cut the project out, but I did get something done. So I will say to you, I had my doubts about this along the way. <laughs> so many major doubts and so many wrong turns and a couple of times where I thought I just need to scrap the whole thing. But I took the leftover fabric from the two garments I found by accident with matching fabric. One of them still had the top, the complete top. I took the sleeves off of it. I patchworked everything else together and I had some white t-shirt fabric. I made just a stripe under the bust line just because I was going to put it around the hem too. It looked terrible. It came out terrible. It was awful. I took it off. I re And I redid the hem and I was like, I don't know if this is working or not, but let's try and let's give it a good press because it came out more than a little bit wavy and it's actually not bad, you guys. Hold on, you guys, look. I pressed the hem. Is it perfect? No, in fact, I think it might be slightly longer on one side than the other. Do I care? Not really, it's cute. I can see wearing it this summer, well, in fact, this summer. We're supposed to have hot temperatures next weekend, so yeah, and I don't have that many scraps left. That's all that's left and it's going in the garbage bin. All right, on to the next thing. Good morning, everybody. It's Monday morning, May 8th, I think, just before 10 a.m. I almost forgot my water. Uh, I'm finally dressed, I know. Uh, what can I tell you, it's Monday. Um, we're gonna go back upstairs and work on the bag I was making yesterday. See if we can get that done today. And then video editing, social media posts. It's all that's on the agenda today, but that's enough. I'll be okay, back. You guys, we are, what is my hair doing? Ay -ay -ay. Um, <laughs> I'm a hot mess. Uh, you know, it just is what it is. We are rendering the vlog. I've already done all the social media posts, which I hope I've done at least that much because it's already, 427. We just had a giant thunder boom, so I'm guessing a storm's coming in. Um, I'm going, I'm working on this vest, which is out of fabric from our old sofas, which are at the kids' house. Sofas still existing, but it had throw pillows with it the kids didn't want. I kept a couple of the throw pillow fabric covers, and I'm making a couple things out of them. One's going to be a vest. I'm going to line it with this brown fabric, although I shouldn't have sewn the, this part together until I'd also draped the lining, which I didn't do. And this is already draped and sort of sewn. So now I've got it. Yeah, it's going to be complicated. And I'm not using a pattern. I haven't draped anything on a dress form since high school. So that was a long time ago. Um, um, I do have the um, cord trim that was on the pillow covers which I don't know if we're going to use or not. I also happen to have a bag of leather-covered buttons. So I think we're going to put leather-covered buttons on it. I think if we 
even if we do regular buttonholes, just because I really hate doing bound buttonholes, um, I think the leather buttons would look sharp on there. Worn with my brown capri pants that I made and maybe a men's shirt underneath. That would be cute. Um, I also have some dresses we're going to be working with. That's going to be in another upcycling video. I also have set up a painting stations here in, here in the corner on the tool desk so I can get some painting done when this uh, table is full of sewing because I don't see this going anywhere. I do kind of want like something in there to like put things on. Yeah. Anyway, I need to see if I can move things around rather than buy stuff. I don't need to buy stuff. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? So yeah, so we've got that set up. We've got that ready. We've got that going. And the table's fairly clear. Oh, I took some more of that fabric. I do have a big piece still that's left, but I made this the pattern i got off of etsy i'll put the name of it here and i'll link the listing for it down below she also has tutorials on how to make this bag on her youtube channel and the uh, instructions that come with the bag um, are super detailed and her videos are very well done um so this is a little bag looks like a square it's supposed to be a cosmetic bag of course y'all know that's not what i did with it right yeah. So I have daily drawing stuff, which is usually downstairs, which I've put in my Hawaii bag. And I have my watercolor sketchbook. And now, yep, I've got all my watercolor sketch things in this, in this thing. It has so much like room in it. I'm not even sure I need all the room has so many pockets I just realized I have an extra pocket here I could probably utilize anyway it's pretty cool I just need to figure out how exactly I'm gonna put everything in here it opens nice and flat so I could have it on the table next to me with my sketchbook here and all my stuff is like right here I can see everything I kind of like that. Plus, it, it closes up really small. And, I mean, the fabric is sentimental, so there's that. All right, I'll be back. We have got to be better at not taking pictures of stuff. I think I just heard another thunder boom. That can't be good. You know, it's 2.30 in the afternoon on Tuesday, May 9th, I think. I haven't filmed a single thing for the vlog yet today because... I, I don't know, let's see. Yeah, I don't know, May 9th, I think. Yeah, May 9th. Um, because I didn't film a single thing yet for the vlog because I was up early working on something that was on my mind all night long, it kept me from getting a good night's sleep. And then I got up early this morning to work on that and film a Fixing the Flow, part five, I think. So that'll be coming out soon. And I made some changes to my art room that really work for me and speak to me. And I had a, I had a section that was kind of really bugging me. And of course, in the middle of the night last night, I'm like, oh, wait a minute. I know how to fix that. Does that only happen to me or does it happen to you? Yeah. Anyway, now I'm working on a vest. Um, and this is one without a pattern, so I can't share a pattern with you. I draped it on my dress form and I made the outside and then I'm like, oh crap, I didn't do the lining. So I'm going to do the lining. I had to unpick some stuff and do the lining, which I'm going to sew now. Everything is pressed and then I'm ready to start assembly. I'm hoping to get everything except maybe the buttons done today and we'll see how it fits. I'm going to listen to some General Hospital while I'm doing that, and yeah, we'll see how it goes. Cross your fingers. I'll be back.
Okay, you guys, the vest is put together. I just have to decide if I'm going to put buttons and how. I do think I'm going to do this way. Some version of this. Make some rectangular pieces out of the tapestry fabric. And I'll probably back it with a lining because this is pretty thick fabric. And then sew them down on one side and sew a false button. Put a buttonhole on the other side to go over the button. I think that's going to be... So, because I kind of want to do something different on the front. I could also lace up the front, except that I should have put loops for said lacing on before I finished assembling the vest, and I didn't do that. So this is my option. I think I like that. And it's a little different than just regular buttonholes. So anyway, it's already almost five o'clock, so I'm not gonna do that today, but soon, maybe tomorrow. Um, and then we'll on to the next. We need to film a um, upcycling video for which I have a pile of things here and I need to film something else. Oh, a watercolor video over there. So, not today though. All right, I'll be back. Okay, you guys. I lied. I did clean up, but I didn't stop working on the vest. She's finished. You wanna see? I don't have the top on that I would normally probably wear with this, but the green color looks nice. What do you think? This is a paper towel because there's some fray check on the back of the buttons. Let me put you down and get a better look for you. So what do you think? Let's tuck that paper towel away. I didn't want to get glue on my t-shirt I just made. I mean, does she look like a couch cushion? Maybe a little bit, but I'm okay with that. What do you think? I like it. All right, on to the next thing. It's almost the end of the day, so it really is time to clean up now. I'll be back. Headed out for a walk, get some steps in, and collecting dandelions. Because supposedly you can get a pretty yellow color of paint out of them. We'll see. I'll believe it when I try it. All right, let's go. Have I vlogged today? I don't think I have. It's been a day. Where is my tablet? I don't even know. Oh, here. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Time is it? Oh yeah, it's almost six o'clock. I have a vlog today. Um, I started the morning with running a couple of quick errands and then came home and today's painting day. So I did do a painting and I did film it and I got done with that early. Um, and there's a little sneak peek. Um, the, I have to edit the video still, but it'll come out at some point. And then I did some, I thought, well, I have time. Let me do some quick upcycling. I made three sundresses. <laughs> that took a while, longer than I thought it was going to, mostly because my serger just needed a really good oiling and cleaning and readjusting and was giving me a hard time, but it's all fixed now. Anyway, um, yeah, so <laughs> it's been kind of a funny day. I don't know. We're both done with our stuff today. <laughs> As much as we can be. It's almost seven o'clock, but we're gonna go for a walk, really quick one before we have dinner, just to get a few more steps in. So anyway, good news is for Mr. Bob is we don't have to pick any daddy lines today. I got enough yesterday. Are they fermenting? They are, they're soaking in the hot water. We'll see what happens. All right, I'm gonna go get some steps, I'll be back. Hey guys, happy Thursday. May 11th, I think. Uh, anyway, 
It is after lunch. I need to take a break and eat. I've been working on another upcycling video, one I didn't expect to film today. Um, color blocking. Color blocking. So stay tuned. Um, had some more problems with the sergers, figured out besides other issues, I needed to replace the needles, which if you have a serger, you know is just a nightmare. So anyway, got it done, seems to be working. She's being a little finicky, so I may have to take her in soon for some service, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm gonna take a break and I'm gonna make myself some lunch before we finish. And I'll be back. guys, Bob has gone off to his Masonic Lodge. It's not a meeting. I think they're having a practice or something. They're very ritual focused. Anyway, um, he's going to be gone for an hour or so doing that. So I think I'm going to come back upstairs and I'm going to cut out and maybe drape the mock-up for the next sewing project. I want to cut that 40 plus year old silk and make a dress. I know, right? Anyway, we're going to mock it up first because this silk is, yeah. I'll okay, be back. There's the mock up all pinned. And we're going to live with it for a little bit and see what I think. I think I like it, maybe. <laughs> it's so hard to tell because it's just a white sheet on a mannequin. But I think so. I do really like the idea of maybe not putting buttons down the front. The original pattern has buttons down the front, but I think I can sew the buttons on there and I've put a little pleat, um, do sort of a mock button and do a side zipper, an invisible zipper. I think I like that better. What do you think? I think spring is officially here. The bumblebees are out. <laughs> we have a lot of bumblebees around here. So anyway, <laughs> I better turn, also turn some lights on. It's kind of dark in here. And maybe make some iced coffee. Good morning, everybody. It is, what time is it? Nine something. I can't tell, 9.57, I think. There's too much sun and too much glare, I don't know. Um, family dinner night tonight. It's Friday, March 12th, I think. And um, so I have to run out and go get some food and run a couple of errands. And uh, yeah, I put my hair back and some barrettes because I mean, you know, <laughs> I just couldn't be bothered to do anything else with it this morning. So it would look better if I sat and, you know, did something else with it, but yeah. Anyway, it's less about depression and more about laziness. Okay, so anyway, we're gonna go get some errands run, get some food for tonight. Bob's gonna barbecue, so I need to get him something he can barbecue. My neighbor is sweet and all, but he has a habit of parking 
right in front of his house, which is right in front of my driveway, so it makes it difficult to get out. All right, I'll be back. Uh, once I was out running errands and everything, I didn't vlog for the rest of the day because there was just too much going on. And we had family dinner night, which was a uh, great success. It's 9.05 now. Everybody just went home and we quickly got the kitchen clean. Um, but yeah, it is boiling hot. <laughs> it might be time to turn on the air conditioner. Well, boiling hot for me. I mean, 80 degrees is hot for me. <laughs> Anyway, it's been a great day. Um, I came home and styled my hair a bit, which looks a little better than it did this morning. Um, anyway, not too many leftovers, so I call that good. We're going to sit down now and do our daily word puzzles and do some chilling out and relaxing before we go to bed. And then tomorrow, on to the next. He just said, what do you want to do? this weekend and I said thrifting and he said besides thrifting <laughs> I don't I don't know I like thrifting I would say art supply shopping but I really don't need art supplies so I don't know we'll see I'll let you know I'll be back hey guys how are you it is Friday Friday it is not Friday it is Saturday it's Saturday afternoon, it's 2.47 p.m., May 13th. And Bob and I got up um, fairly early this morning, but then we've been slow going you know, the rest of the day. We did get our errands done. It's gonna be a blasting hot day today here in the Portland, Oregon area. And yeah, that makes it so you don't wanna do much. Um, he is out getting me a Mother's Day card right now. Um, we have one for the daughter, but he hasn't gotten one for me yet. So he's doing that now. I drafted a tank top pattern for myself. I want to do out of a lightweight linen or cotton. Um, not stretchy, woven. I have a pat couple of patterns for woven dresses that fit fairly well. So I altered a couple of them, kind of mishmashed them together and created a shape I think I'm gonna really love for a tank top. So now I just need some some fabric. And can I find it online instead of like buying it at the store because I think online might be cheaper or the same price but easier? I don't know. <sighs> We're gonna find out anyway. I also am gonna need an invisible zipper for the silk dress I'm going to be working on. I don't have a, a zipper for that. So yeah, I'm going to need, I'm going to need to buy that. So. Hey guys. So guess what I forgot to do last night? That's right. Close the vlog. <laughs> um, oops. I have no excuse. I just, I don't know. Got into, uh, doing our nightly, nightly puzzles, my drawings, being couch potato and forgot. So anyway, I hope it's been an interesting week for you all. It has been for me, of course, being Oma now and Bob being Pops is a constant adventure, but we are enjoying every step of the way. So anyway, if you have questions, comments, or concerns, please do leave them down below. Um, if you want to support the free content here on YouTube, I do have a Patreon. I sure would love the support. Links and stuff are down in the video description. And uh, don't forget the most important thing, besides like, share, and subscribe, because I would appreciate that. Go out and do something nice for yourself, because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.